Um, a bonding curve stems from the desire to create a continuous token model as opposed to an ICO. If people want a token for a specific purpose, a smart contract is the automatic pricing and the provider of liquidity. And so how it works is if you have one Ether, you bond it into the smart contract and based on the current price that the smart contract sets in a hard-coded manner, it would mint a new token. And this, which is why it's called the bonding curve, because it would generally change based on the supply of the tokens in circulation. That's why it looks like a curve. It could either be linear, exponential, or logarithmic. And then over time, once there's this pot has grown, there's more tokens in circulation, anyone at any time can then sell their tokens back for a part of this reserve or deposit or pool that has been built up by people buying the token. So it's this, this mental model of a ecosystem growing and shrinking based on demand for the specific token. And the price of the token will differ based on if there's demand for the token. If, if a lot of people want it, the price will be higher. If no, if fewer people want it, the price will be lower. And you can buy and sell at any point along this curve. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,